up my love bugs and love muffins it's mama love and i am back with a video i'm going to do a i don't know how many of y'all heard of the power bowl from taco bell from taco bell got the uh it's called the power bowl burrito no not the power but the power menu burrito and um i'll be showing you all how it goes down stay tuned i'm back with my my ingredients before i start um Inside a power bowl, a power menu bowl at a Taco Bell. I don't know if some of you are familiar with it or had it before, but um, it's got your grilled chicken. Um, it's got um, lettuce, tomatoes, guacamole, sour cream, black beans, and like a Mexican type of rice that's in it. And it's supposed to be like real good. It's, it's 450 calories at Taco Bell. Um, you can have a bowl by itself. It comes in the bowl. Or you can have it um, inside of a burrito. So I'm doing mine inside of a burrito. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to fry it up in the skillet with the black beans together. And I'm going to have my, um, this is Mexican rice. Nothing too serious. Mexican rice. And I got my fajita chicken mix. That's the, the cheese. Fiesta blend my um tomatoes and onions. I like already diced up and I have my shredded Sorry y'all My shredded lettuce, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get started Because I got my chicken right here already cut up. I chopped it up already. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that over in there as so And I'm gonna add my fajita Seasoning and, and other seasonings to it. Okay, so while my chicken is on its way to browning, I'm not gonna add my uh, fajita mix or uh, really any type of seasonings to really that's like half done. I just like to do that for some reason I feel comfortable. But over in this skillet, I'm going to pour in my black beans and I'm going to pour over in the seasoning corn. And I'm gonna let this fry up together. And uh, I'm gonna add a little, just a little fajita seasoning to it as well as it's frying up. I added a little fajita seasoning to this. I'll put a little of that in there. Maybe a little, a little more too. But that's what I put. And also my chicken is coming along fine and I'm liking the way it's uh, brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my <clears throat> seasoning to that. It's got just enough uh, amount of water uh, that I want in it. Um, and also, you know, I try to slice this meat, chicken breasts, as uh, much as I could, thin as I could. But I know that in here, as it gets done, I usually just go ahead and get it where I want it with my uh, spatula. Right. Okay. It's coming. Coming along real good. It's nice. Dice this meat up some more. Make sure my beans over here is frying. Matter of fact, I can go ahead and turn that off because it don't take take that long. I don't want to stick into the pot. So I'm gonna try to even though that's cooking together. I, Really try to keep those black beans separate. It's gonna taste good all together anyway. So and you say I used to say it's going down the same way. That's that. And um, I usually buy the tomatoes. <clears throat> I know I could sit here and chop them and everything, but I, I when I when I cook like fajitas and and nachos and stuff like that, I usually um don't dice the tomatoes up myself i usually go and buy these are in the section where the fruit and vegetables are and um it's it's already uh it's got a uh, green onions in it and you know what i did tina i messed around and grabbed one say hot and one say mild Woo -wee. put the mild in yeah well y'all basically could put what y'all want in y'all or whatever and then what I did was I went on ahead and added the, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna add the shredded, you know, 
This is my problem. I'm having. <clears throat> now I bought spinach wrap tortillas, but I did not get the big size. So I got to make these like in smaller amounts. They do have spinach wraps in the size of the regular tortillas in the regular size. They do, you know, and, um, but I don't know. I started to go to the store and buy the bigger, uh, spinach wraps, but don't, I think nobody really don't want the spinach wraps, uh, but me and Tina. So I'm fine with cutting down your, uh, serving amount, which really helps when you really are trying to cut down your portions and stuff <clears throat> and your burrito or whatever. Um, it's good to, you know, get smaller ones so you can have smaller portions and you still, you know, kind of like measuring it out that way where you're not just really like overdoing it and whatever, but my rice boiling, chicken done, black beans with corn, seasoned corn is finished. Just waiting on these. This rice to get finished. Um, on the stove, I have a little griller tray here. And uh, this is how I'm kind of like heating up my uh, wraps. I don't know what's hanging over the edge. I want to make sure it don't burn. But it did pretty good on that side. And, and I separated it in bowls. Here I have my, um, my chicken, my corn and black beans, my rice, my tomatoes, diced tomatoes and onions, guacamole. Sour cream. I got my iceberg shredded lettuce already and my Fiesta cheese. And I am going to show you all how I make my Powerball burrito. I'm going to make the first burrito for you. And I will say that this is, that's good enough. That's, that's the good, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna do these like this, like one at a time. Don't talk about me. This is my first time making this power menu bowl. And I'm sure it's gonna be good, but I'm saying what I said, don't talk about, don't talk about my wrapping. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start out with my meat. Start out with the meat. We don't wanna fill it too much. Uh, maybe say I wanna center it. I don't know, about right in there. Um, it's just already been placed on the oven, so I'm gonna I'm say about that much, okay? I'm, I ain't cheating, I'm cheating y'all out the chicken. I'm going over here with my black beans and corn. Just a little bit more. Like I said, it's my first one I'm making up. And I'm going over in here with my uh, wild Mexican rice. Put that over in there like that. Now I'm going over here with my codes. Throwing some tomatoes in there. I'm doing me some shredded. Everybody today like it, but like I said, this is my first one, so. I like red. I'm not just saying this for them. But these are so good. And they're healthy for you. You can have them. And I didn't call the other two in here because they went in there and sat down. And I told them that Bruh, I was prepping. This pool broke down. I'm doing my own prepping. Sit next to your chain. Let me see. Mm. 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 Y'all, I ain't never going to Taco Bell no more. Unless I'm out and about, I ain't gonna lie. Unless I'm out and about, but I'm making my own power bowls from now on. Not power bowl, power menu. Cause I'm used to getting the power menu bowl, but they have the power menu burrito. And like I said, it's awesome. And everything in this is filling. Uh, and I guess it's got, they say power because it, the protein with the beans and the, the meat and the, you know, the uh, vegetables that's in it. So 
with the wrap itself, so it's good, especially on a spinach wrap. I don't know, Tina, you should have tried it on a spinach wrap, boo. Yeah, she's texting it anyway. But, so, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Peace out in Jesus' name. Mm, mm, mm.